It's all covered in today's China Truths. For many years, since the completion of the world's largest hydroelectric dam, China's Three Gorges Dam, there has been heated debate in both domestic and international engineering forums about the possibility of the dam's failure. Recently, Chinese hydraulic experts released simulations showing the potential scope of destruction if such a disaster were to occur, along with detailed predictions of its catastrophic consequences. In this program, I will not delve into the technical aspects of the Three Gorges Dam or its power plant, but instead take you through a simulation of what would happen if the dam were to break. In this video, we'll take you through that terrifying scenario. Flying over Wushan County, Chongqing, toward Hubei Province, we can see the mighty Yangtze River stretching below. Ahead lies the Three Gorges Dam, 2.3 kilometers long, 181 meters high, holding back 39.3 billion cubic meters of water, four times the size of Vietnam's Hoa Binh Reservoir. If this dam collapses, a wall of water nearly 100 meters high will explode downstream at speeds over 100 kilometers gorge, like a tsunami made of a river. Within minutes, Yiling County would vanish. 30 minutes later, the flood would crash into Yichang City, breaking the Gajoba Dam and drowning the entire city under 20 meters of water. More than 4 million people live in Yichang, and 1.5 million in the downtown area would be the first to disappear. The flood would then continue its deadly path down the Yangtze, flattening everything in its way. Experts warn that if the Three Gorges Dam ever fails, the flood flow could reach 3 million cubic meters per second, a force capable of wiping out the entire lower basin of China's longest river. Entire towns would vanish, infrastructure would collapse, and evacuation would be impossible on such a scale. The resulting human toll could reach the magnitude of several tens of millions affected or displaced. Yichang and Yiling County wouldn't be the only ones in danger. Dozens of major cities along the Yangtze River would turn into red zones. Experts estimate that up to 400 million people living within the basin could be at risk if the Three Gorges Dam collapses. Once the flood breaks through, it would surge toward Wuhan, Jingzhou, and Yueyang, before reaching the vast downstream plains packed with factories, power stations, and densely populated urban areas. The enormous pressure and speed of the water would make any emergency evacuation nearly impossible. Further downstream, industrial and metropolitan hubs such as Nanjing and even Shanghai might not be submerged immediately, but they would still face devastating secondary impacts, broken levees, massive sediment buildup, and long-lasting floods. Experts warn that even a partial failure of the dam could unleash an uncontrollable surge through the mid- and lower Yangtze regions, with water racing at over 100 kilometers and waves towering dozens of meters high, swallowing entire towns, bridges, and farmlands within hours. I've lived for eight decades, but never in my life have I witnessed Chengdu, Sichuan, drowned under such monstrous rain. Out of nowhere, a torrential downpour swallowed the city. Overnight, Chengdu was no longer a bustling metropolis. It turned into a vast ocean. Streets vanished under waves of flood water. The subway system collapsed as tunnels filled with muddy torrents, and cars were abandoned like stranded boats. Even the iconic Erxianqiao Bridge was useless. In Chenghua Road, people needed actual boats to move around, with locals ferrying passengers for five yuan a trip. Chengdu had no choice but to issue its highest level red alert for rainstorms. The numbers are staggering. In Qingyang District's People's Park, rainfall reached 171.7 millimeters, smashing historical records. Within just one hour, hour 82.4 millimeters fell, the most intense downpour in all of China at that moment. Across the city, nearly 100 rain stations recorded extreme levels, paralyzing Chengdu's core. 23 bridges sank underwater, with some sections over half a meter deep. The East Railway Station flooded, subways shut down, water supplies cut, and even the airport was thrown into chaos with dozens of delayed flights. Authorities rushed into action. Chengdu launched a Level 3 flood emergency response, 
deploying 3,000 personnel and hundreds of rescue vehicles. Across Sichuan, more than 28,000 residents were forced out of danger zones, with entire towns evacuated overnight. But the disaster did not stop there. A violent 45,000 M3 mud flow ripped through Long Chai town, unleashing a terrifying scene. Meanwhile, the Fujiang River in Mayanyang surged with 7,400 m3 per second of water, smashing downstream areas with unstoppable force. And this was only the beginning. In late June 2025, the Sichuan Basin faced its deadliest floods in years. The Minjiang and Jinsha rivers merged in Yibin City, swelling the mighty Yangtze. At Hiangate Station, the water level soared to 267 meters, with terrifying flows above 20,000 mithri per second. The Three Gorges Reservoir alone was hammered by nearly 30,000 mithri per second, forcing operators to open floodgates and worsening downstream destruction. Across southern China, an area of 100,000 km drowned in relentless storms, with 70,000 km under extreme rainfall. In just 24 hours, more than 14 billion M3 of rain fell, equal to a thousand West Lakes crashing down at once. Now, the question that terrifies millions. Can China's pride, the Three Gorges Dam, withstand such brutal punishment? Reports of hidden water releases, signs of deformation, and silt-choked reservoirs fuel growing fears. This colossal engineering project, once called Invincible, is being pushed to its breaking point. If it fails, what happens next? And where, if anywhere, would be safe? Sichuan is no stranger to disasters, but in recent decades, its vulnerability to extreme weather has skyrocketed. Research shows that floods in the Xiongguan Mountains are appearing 12 times more often per decade. A 2025 nationwide study revealed an alarming fact. Sichuan now has the highest flood frequency in all of China. And here's the eerie part. These floods began surging after 2003, the exact year the Three Gorges Reservoir started filling. Scientists stopped short of calling it direct cause and effect, but the timing is too suspicious to ignore. Sichuan has also become a hotspot for double disasters. Heat waves followed by flash floods, or droughts overlapping with scorching heat. The Chengdu-Chongqing Corridor is especially battered. Climate models predict that under high emission scenarios, the number of extreme weather days could triple in the coming decades. Carbon trackers confirm the same trend. Global warming is amplifying Sichuan's chaos, turning each year deadlier than the last. But climate isn't the only enemy. Human engineering plays a darker role. Sichuan generates more hydropower than any other Chinese province. With 3,700 stations and more than 8,000 reservoirs scattered across its rivers. These massive structures block natural flows, warp local weather, and when storms hit, Operators are forced to dump water down in stream to protect the dams, drowning cities in the process. The Three Gorges Dam, once celebrated as the ultimate symbol of China's ability to conquer nature, now looks increasingly fragile. Research shows that since the reservoir began storing water, summers became hotter, winters harsher, and extreme rainfall events spiked across northeastern Sichuan. Towns like Daju, Pingzhou, Guanggan, and Nanchong have endured year after year of violent downpours. From 2004 to 2014 alone, at least 32 extreme rainfall events were recorded, many exceeding 250 millimeters feet in just a single day. Scientists even warned that the vast water vapor rising from the reservoir could be feeding monsoon clouds, dragging more rainfall into Sichuan itself. Satellite studies back this up. In 2006, Japanese researcher Nakaha found that the Three Gorges Reservoir actually increased rainfall in the Daba and Chinling Mountains, regions notorious for flash floods and deadly landslides. Meanwhile, Sichuan's vast river network is loaded with more than 60 hydropower plants, capable of holding nearly 70 billion cubic meters of water. But when they discharge during storms, the silt flows straight toward the Three Gorges Dam. And here lies the ticking time bomb, sediment, in 20, alone, the reservoir trapped 140 million tons of silt, but discharged just 25%. By 2020, silt had piled up to 2.1 billion tons. Attempts at dredging failed. Equipment broke down in days, 
and unstable banks made excavation too dangerous. The only option left? Release massive floods to flush the mud out. Except that means unleashing devastation on low-lying areas downstream, places like Dongting Lake in Wuhan. The dam once stood as a monument to human ambition, but now it raises terrifying questions. Experts whisper about deformation and displacement in the structure. Officials insist the situation is under control, but public fear grows louder. What happens if the Three Gorges Dam breaks? According to disaster researchers, the safest escape lies far from the Yangtze's fury. The Shenangjia Mountains in northwestern Hubei, rising 3,025 meters above sea level, could serve as a natural fortress. But for the millions living in the floodplain below, that knowledge offers little comfort. The bigger question remains, has humanity truly mastered nature? Or have we built a colossal trap that could one day swallow us whole? As climate change accelerates, China faces a harsh reality. Floods and torrential rains are no longer rare disasters, but recurring nightmares growing stronger each year. Experts warn that the old belief in one colossal dam holding back nature is no longer enough. The pressing question now is, can the Three Gorges Dam still protect millions, control the floods, and stand as China's symbol of engineering power? Cracks have already been spotted on the surface of the Three Gorges Dam, and experts say the massive structure has shown signs of slow deformation over time. What was once praised as flawless engineering now raises deep concerns. The pressure of billions of tons of water pressing against Wesson weakened concrete is not something to ignore. Authorities insist these shifts are within safe limits, but the public sees the images and wonders, is this still under control or the first signal of disaster? When torrential rains send enormous volumes of water rushing toward the dam, the question becomes urgent. Can the Three Gorges withstand the pressure? Each year, inflows during flood season grow more violent, testing the dam beyond its original design. If one section fails, the domino effect could unleash unstoppable destruction. Warnings from scientists, both inside and outside China, highlight the risks, but official reports downplay them. For millions living downstream, reassurance is no longer enough. The nightmare scenario is one no one dares to face directly, a breach of the dam. If it happens, the unleashed floodwaters would sweep through the Yangtze Basin, affecting cities like Wuhan, Nanjing, and even Shanghai. Hundreds of millions could be at risk in a matter of hours. Entire regions, farmland, and industries would vanish beneath the surge. Experts describe it as not just a national catastrophe, but a disaster of global scale. The Three Gorges Dam, once a symbol of triumph, now stands as a looming question mark hanging over China's future. For decades, the Three Gorges Dam was hailed as mankind's answer to nature a fortress that would forever tame the Yangtze. But the reality is harsher than the promise. Cracks, deformation, and overwhelming floodwaters have exposed the truth. No structure, no matter how grand, is immune to time and pressure. What was once celebrated as pride and power now hangs over hundreds of millions of lives as a silent threat. Each new storm is a reminder that nature cannot be controlled, only respected. The future of the dam is no longer just an engineering question, it is a question of survival. Will China invest in real solutions or continue gambling on a structure already showing its limits? If the dam holds, it will be remembered as a miracle of endurance. If it fails, it will become the greatest man-made disaster in history. And for those living downstream, every rainfall is not just weather, it is a countdown. Only time will reveal the truth but the clock is ticking louder with every passing season. Each storm that rages through the Yangtze Basin, each river that swells beyond its banks, pushes the Three Gorges Dam into another trial of survival. What was once called a shield for hundreds of millions is now under constant scrutiny. People wonder, is it still protecting lives or slowly turning into a danger itself? Every flood is more than just water pressing against concrete walls. It is a direct confrontation between human ambition and the raw force of nature. Each surge challenges not only the engineering strength of the dam, but also the very idea that mankind can bend rivers to its will. With every rainfall, cracks are questioned, shifts are measured, 
and doubts grow stronger. And in those moments, nature delivers its warning with brutal clarity. No matter how powerful, no matter how advanced, human creations are temporary. The Three Gorges Dam does not stand against water alone. It stands against time, against climate change, and against the very limits of human control. One day we will learn the final answer. The only question is, will it come too late? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. We will keep reporting on the COVID surge in China, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos. And thank you for tuning in.